If you just got the monitor or you're trying to fine-tune it, this should help a lot. Alright, let's start with the picture settings. You'll want to go into your monitor menu using the buttons under the screen. For brightness, keep it around 50%. That's a solid middle ground whether you're in a bright or dim room. You can go up or down about 10 points depending on your lighting. Contrast is also set at 50. That keeps your blacks deep and your highlights bright without losing too much detail in either. Sharpness around 10 adds just a bit of clarity without making everything look overly outlined or artificial. Color saturation at 16 pulls things back from that overly neon look. But if you like more vibrant visuals, bump it up to around 20. Leave tint, G slash R, at 0 unless your whites look like they have a weird green or red cast. And for color tone, go with natural. It's a good middle ground, not too cool, not too warm. Now if you're using this monitor for HDR gaming or watching content on Windows 10 or 11, make sure Auto HDR is turned on under your display settings. Then click into HDR settings and run the calibration wizard. You'll want to adjust the sliders so that highlights don't get blown out and shadows still have detail. The G9 actually handles HDR really well, so a little calibration goes a long way. Next up, game mode. It sounds useful, but honestly, it can mess with your picture settings more than it helps. I recommend keeping game mode off so you have full control over your visuals. For performance, make sure your refresh rate is set to 240 Hz in Windows. A lot of people miss this step and end up stuck at 60 or 120. Also, turn on G-Sync or FreeSync in both your monitor menu and your GPU settings. That helps eliminate screen tearing. For response time, go with fast or faster. Extreme might sound tempting, but it can actually create ghosting and make things look worse. 